today I'm going to show you how to use a ratchet strap. You have two different pieces to the ratchet strap. The ratchet mechanism and the strap and hook. First thing that you want to do is extend out your strap and hook and secure it if you're in a vehicle to the passenger side of the vehicle. You always want to have your ratchet side on the driver's side. Then extend your strap making sure that you don't have any twists in the strap as you go down through. Perfect, to there. We're going to place that over whatever we're securing in between. On your ratchet, you have a couple different um, positions. You have close, open, and open and locked. Locked, you will see, I'll come closer. There's small grooves right on the back of the actual ratchet. This part of the mechanism is spring-loaded. There's also another one here that's spring-loaded, but you don't have to worry about that one. It locks into place automatically. This one, if you pull back on that and open the strap all the way up to the open and locked position right there, you'll see that the spring-loaded mechanism actually locks into that back groove. That is an open strap. That strap will allow you to be able to release. When you're feeding your strap and hook, you want to bring the strap to the open position like that so that the back is open and it's in the actual ratcheting position. At this point, we're going to take our strap, which we've already taken the twist out, and we're going to take the back side of the strap here, and we're going to insert it from the bottom of the strap, not the top where it closes at, but the actual bottom. We're going to insert that strap through there and then push it back out towards you right here. So the strap is coming in the bottom, wrapping around one of the two bars and coming back this way. What that does is allows us to secure the strap and then pull all of the excess slack out of the strap. Once you do that, keep the strap aligned with the top and bottom and simply ratchet. And you'll see the strap begins to pull around. As you can see on both my weights on both sides, these are 400 pound weights and this little strap is pulling both of those two weights in. Alright, now to release the strap when we get there. All you have to do is simply pull in on the spring mechanism and open the strap all the way up to the back. Once you get past this point right here, where it gets back to the um, catch point, you can release the spring loaded mechanism and just push down on it. And you'll see just like that, the strap releases. If you need to release it more, press it back into that catch point again, and that's going to allow you to pull out on the strap show you one more thing before we finish up today and that's how to secure your excess strap after you have it ratcheted. So we get it down tight. We have all this excess material. You always want to make sure you tie this up because what it can do is blow over the side of your vehicle if you're caught in your tire on your trailer or your vehicle and actually wrap around the axle put a ton of force on it and crinkle down the side of your vehicle lock your tire up all kinds of bad stuff that you don't want. So we're going to take the strap go end over end just like so. Once we get back to here, all we're going to do is take our spring-loaded mechanism, pull it up just a little bit, insert our strap down through there, grab that spring-loaded mechanism again, shut it down, and you'll hear it. It actually clicks right into place, and that secures that extra strap so that it can't go anywhere. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.